Happy New Year, Crosswalk. I hope you had a great time celebrating the start of the new year. Do you guys know what a lot of people, or at least some people, do around New Year's? They make resolutions. Resolution is a big fancy word for basically making a promise that they're going to do something. A lot of people make promises to eat healthier or exercise more or do something that they want to do differently in the coming year. And some people make a big production out of it. However, a lot of people don't follow through with those resolutions. Well, you know what? God's word has something to say about making promises. It doesn't specifically mention resolutions, but I think you'll get the point. In Matthew 5 and verse 33, which you can find somewhere in your Bible, it says, Again, you have heard that it said to those of old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform your oaths to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Wow. Well, what is the point that is trying to be made here? The point is that we, as Christians, should do what we say we're going to do without having to make a big production about it. Also, I don't know if you've ever heard of someone saying they don't have to follow through on a promise because they cross their fingers. People come up with all kinds of ways to get out of doing something that they promise to do. God doesn't want us to live like that. He wants us to do what we promise to do, to do what we say we're going to do, to be able to be trusted. One, because it's the right thing to do, but two, because through that, we can set an example. If we go a little earlier in the same chapter, again, we're still in Matthew 5, and it says in verse 14, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You see, Crosswalk, when we keep our word, when we let our yes be yes and our no be no, our example shines through. And we are an example for Christ. We aren't living like everybody else is living. And that causes us to be different in a great and awesome way that we stand out and we can make a difference for God. Dear Jesus, I just pray that you would help each and every person listening to this message to be an example for you. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Have a great week, Crosswalk, and we'll talk again soon. And cut. Wow, I did that all in one take. There weren't any outtakes or any problems or any issues this week. That's awesome. But don't forget to edit this out. <laughs>